So what could a hotter Australia feel like? Well, picture an outlook of more days above 35 degrees. But this compromise is still on the table and may be revived at next year's meeting. Until then, the only avenue Australia has of stopping Japan killing whales in the Southern Ocean is through legal action in the International Court of Justice. Sarah Clark, ABC News, Agadir. After years building the new air link, no one was disappointed. This air link service will launch a new era in scientific exploration in the Antarctic. More scientists will be able to access the region with around 20 flights flying in each summer. How many houses have gone as a result? Well, they practically moved to like about 27 houses here from where they, where they used to be down on the west side. Mm. What is so special about what he does? So? 40 years um, diving and as a cinematographer and the extraordinary thing about him is he's gone from a spear fisherman, so hunting fish, to shooting fish and now he calls himself a reluctant conservationist. You're now married, you've got a child and another one on the way. Yeah. How do you get that leave pass from, from now on to take journeys and trips like this? Yeah, well I suppose my wife knew uh, what she was buying into when uh, she made the mistake of getting involved with me. These areas provide the last refuge for remaining wildlife in times of drought. And the concern is less water under a new plan will have dire consequences for wetlands like these. Finding the balance of who needs how much will be decided by the Murray-Darling Basin Authority next month. Sarah Clark, ABC News, Hattar Lakes. But this project is not just looking at high altitudes, it's testing from the soil up to see how the whole ecosystem can cope. The heat compressed air expands through the turbine to generate power. It's not just a more efficient way of delivering clean energy, this project will reap billions of dollars worth of investments and put Australia back in the global renewable race. There's a paper published in what's called the Australia and New Zealand Public Health Journal uh, and this is done by a fellow called Professor uh, Simon Chapman from the Sydney University and what he's done is he's tried to look at the medical evidence or the scientific ed evidence behind what's called uh, the wind turbine syndrome. It could, Roz. Now, uh, there's been a push for a national container deposit scheme for beverages and for, for containers and plastics for years now. It's been on the agenda for state and federal ministers uh, for as long as I can remember. Uh, but this year, the state ministers are meeting with Federal Environment Minister Tony Burke, and once again, it's on the agenda. So the federal government will be watching this very closely. So will the beverage and packaging industry. So it's a fragile agreement from a meeting that many had hoped would deliver a new global action plan to tackle climate change. But the United Nations has issued a new deadline. It wants a legally binding treaty by next year. Sarah Clark, ABC News, Copenhagen.